Hello, and welcome to On The Move. My name is Janice Berg, and I am going to be teaching a chair yoga today. This is an excellent yoga practice for anyone who has mobility issues, but still wants to practice some stretching and some yoga. And it's also good if you um, are at a desk all day and you still want to do something, but you don't have the availability to get up and move around. So I'm going to walk you through a series of different postures. What I'd like to highly recommend is that you work within your limitations. Don't try and compete with anyone, especially yourself. Just do what you can within your limitations. And I can't stress that enough. Please, please, please listen to your body. Do what you're able to do. If you come back here several times, each time you can grow and build on that. You can eventually get to where you want to be. So we're going to start today with some exercises that um, wake up the energy in the body. And these are so excellent. And we're going to do all but one posture, I believe, sitting in this chair. So um, finding a comfortable spot. Some people because of mobility issues may need to sit back farther, but if you're able to scoot yourself just a little bit forward on your chair, and I, I recommend a hard chair, that's why I'm using this folding chair as an example, um, we're gonna have our feet flat on the ground, our feet are flat, we're gonna sit up tall, and I'm gonna encourage you throughout this session to sit up tall and to breathe. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take three deep breaths in through the nose, and out through the mouth. So we'll get started. Here we go. Inhale deeply. Exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale fully. In through that mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Very good. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fingertips and we're gonna make like a little point. Find those bones right here at the top of our collar and then just go slightly below and tap. This is energy centers, these are energy points. So inhale, exhale. Gently tapping, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale fully. Shake out the hands. All right, same thing, take three to four fingers, Find the middle of the chest, the thymus gland, waking up energy here. Inhale, exhale. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Shake out those hands. All right, the next point that we're gonna wake up is right in, under here right on the sides of the chest or below the ribs here. And right, if you're a woman, if you happen to have a bra line, it'd be right about here is where you tap. And you, this might be a little tender for you. That's because this is the area of the spleen, this meridian line here. So just tapping gently here, or you can rub. If, if tapping is too hard, you can rub this area. We're gonna breathe in, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Shake out the hands. All right, take those fingertips again, gently tapping right beneath the eyes on that brow bone or that eye, that eye socket right below the eyes. That's what I'm trying to say. Tapping and breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Shake out the hands. And now just relax, arms are down, and just enjoy some silence. All right, very good. The next thing we're gonna do is a little marching. So right hand to right foot or right knee, just kind of going back and forth.
All right, relaxing down. Same thing, alternating. Here we go. Four. We'll do 12 more. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, shake out the hands. All right, good jobs. Way to hang in there. All right. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our intention for the day. Like, I deserve to be healthy. That's a good intention. So just placing the hands slightly over the pelvic area, sit up nice and tall, do the best you can here. Inhale, set your intention. I deserve to be healthy. Reach all the way up, push your palms to the ceiling, and then exhale down. Two more times, inhale up. As you're thinking or saying, I deserve to be healthy, exhale down. One more time, inhale up. I deserve to be healthy. Very good. All right, one more thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our fingertips again, Press them in the navel or the belly button area. Kind of feel that area, kind of push in. And then take your other hand, doesn't matter which hand, press in the center of the forehead, right between the eyes. Now sit up tall again, and now lift up as you inhale. And then relax. That's one, inhale up. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Shake out the hands. All right, we're all done. We woke up our energy. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna interlace our elbows or your forearms, whatever is most comfortable. Now, if, if you ever sit at a desk or you sit all day and watch TV or whatever, all of a sudden you feel like you're sitting like this, you're hunched over up on the upper top of your back. This posture is going to recorrect that. So this is so excellent. Do this two or three times a day and you'll really notice a difference in how that back feels, especially in that upper neck area. So interlace the, the forearms or the elbows and we're just going to gently twist from side to side like this, but we're going to twist as we come up, up, up. Go as far as you can. If you have shoulder limitations, just go as far as the body will allow, and then slowly start coming back down. All right, we're gonna do that two more times. So here we go, twisting, just side to side. It's amazing what we do to our body without even realizing how much we're harming it by being sedentary or sitting at a computer, or even being on a phone too long, looking down. And this will really help with that. Okay, one more time coming up. Remembering to breathe. We don't want to hold our breath. Coming slowly down. And you can do this at your own pace. If this is too fast for you, slow it down. But just be mindful of this. All right, coming back down. And there we go. That's a nice little twist. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place our fingertips on top of our shoulders, and then just take your elbows and circle forward. We'll go 10 times, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now we're gonna reverse directions and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax those arms down. There we go, getting some workout in there already. All right, the next posture is called an archer pull. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a couple variations of this because if you have a trouble with your rotator cuff or whatever, this might be tough. So we're gonna do two different, um, two different versions. Bring your arms out straight, pull back with your left arm like you're gonna shoot a bow and arrow, and then bring that arm straight up. If you're able, circle around and come back to start. 
If that doesn't work for you, pull back, straight up, and then back down. All right, do each, would you, whatever version works for you. Pull back, straight up, circle around. Switch sides, pull back, straight up, circle around. Pull back, oh, wrong side, pull back, straight up, and then come straight down or circle around. Again, pull back, switch sides, up, circle around. Again, pull back, straight up, circle around, switch sides, pull back, straight up, circle around. We'll do one more on each side. Pull back, straight up, circle around. Pull back, straight up, circle around. All right, relax those arms down, waking up those shoulders. All right. Arms are at our sides and hands and arms are at our sides and we're just going to stretch straight back and hold 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 if you need to you can hang on to the back of the chair but we just want to reach back with those arms you want to feel this in between the shoulder blades and then relax hold back we're going to hold 10 seconds here we go 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. It looks a little goofy with your arms back like that, but it feels good. All right, change pages here and we will keep moving on. All right, this is another good one. If you, we all have that flabby arms, bat wings, whatever you want to call it. These next two, uh, two postures will help with that. And they're, they're actually really simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our arms back again, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So squeezing those shoulder blades together, palms are facing down, okay? So palms are facing down, I hope you can see this. And then we're just gonna wave the hands, prayed wave. <laughs> just wave the hands back and forth. If you do this long enough, you'll feel it in that upper arm. All right. We're just gonna do this. Let's go 10 times. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. All right. The next one we're gonna do, we're gonna keep our arms back. Got a little, do your thumbs like your hitchhiker. This is actually called hitchhiker. And then we're gonna point them down and then back. Down and back. That's two. Down and back down and back down and back we're gonna go five more here we go down and back down and back down and back two more down back down and back all right good job relax relax those arms Woo. all right a lot of people have pain pain in their legs and their knees this next little series is going to uh focus on the leg pain and the knee pain. So give this a try. I find it very helpful. I stand a lot at my job. So um, if I have a long day and my legs ache, I'll come home and do this. We're going to extend the right leg out and using both hands, we're just going to gently massage the whole leg. So down and reach, only reach as far as you can. And if you need to hang on to the side of the chair, just use one hand. But we wanna just go down, down, down. And really just kind of massage the leg. We don't wanna rub, we just kinda of wanna, kinda of wanna wiggle. Wiggle it, massage it down the whole leg with both hands. And we're gonna do this 10 times. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that kneecap and we're gonna shake that 10 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, tense and release. Make that quadricep muscle hard. Hold and release. Hold, release, hold, 
and release. Hold, release, hold, squeeze that leg and release. Five more times. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. One more time. Squeeze that leg and release. Now, I'd like you to flex your foot, flex, bend that toes towards you, and then relax. Flex, relax, flex your foot. Feel it in your quadricep here, this muscle above your knee. Relax, flex, relax, flex, and relax, flex, relax. We'll do five more, flex, relax, flex, relax, flex, and relax. Two more, flex, relax. Last one, flex and hold and relax. All right, that was the right leg. Bend the right leg, extend the left leg. We're gonna do the same thing. Massage that leg going down. There's one and two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we can see how we're waking up the energy, getting that blood flowing in that leg. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to wiggle that kneecap ten times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, shake that kneecap up and down. Nine and ten. Here we go. Make that quadricep muscle hard and relax. In and out. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze that quadricep muscle. Relax. Squeeze, relax. Five more. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze. Make that muscle tense and release. Tense, release. Tense and release. Flex the foot, relax. Flex the foot, bring those toes toward you, relax. Flex, push away. Flex, relax. Flex, relax. Five more. Flex, relax. Flex the foot, relax. Flex, relax, two more. Flex, relax, flex the foot, and relax. Good job, okay, hopefully your legs feel better. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up the hips. So sitting at the edge of the chair, we're gonna start with the right leg. We're going to, this is our start position, so both the feet are flat, knees are bent. Extend the right leg out to the side, and back. All right, we're gonna do that 10 times. Now, you're out to the side might not be that far. Work within your limitations. Do what you can do. Don't worry about what you can't do. Here we go. Out, side, back. That's two. Out, side, and back. Out, side, and back. Out, to the side, and back home. Five more. Out, to the side, and back. Out, side, and back. Out, side, and back. Two more. Out, side, back. Last one. Out, side, and back. Whew, good job. All right, left side. Here we go, sitting up tall, edge of the seat. Hang on here, Let me hang on. Out, side, and back. Out, side, and back. One side's gonna be tighter, it always is. Out, side, and back. Out, to the side, and back. Straight out, to the side, and back. We got five more. Out, side, back. Good. Out, side, back. Out front, to the side, back home. Two more. Out, side, and back. 
out front, to the side, and back. Good job. All right, we made it through the hip warm up. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna extend that right leg out, grab onto the sides of the chair. You're, at the, you're on the edge of the chair, but we wanna make sure that we have a firm hold on the chair. Sit up nice and tall, inhale. And as you exhale, fold over that extended leg. Okay, your left knee stays bent, bend forward. Now, if you want to extend your leg arms out, go ahead. If you're not comfortable letting go of the chair, continue to hold on to the chair. Maybe just do one hand, but we wanna breathe. All right. All right. And then we want to come up and extend the arms out. All right. Hang on to that chair again. Extend that left leg out. Sitting up tall. Fold over the left leg. Same thing. Hanging on to the chair for support if you need it. Extend one arm or both. And breathe. Slowly come up. Bring that knee in, or bring that foot in to match the other knee. And we're gonna do that whole thing again. So hang on to the chair, extend the right leg, sit up tall, fold over, hold on to the chair, extend one or both hands. And slowly come up. Hands to the chair, extend the left leg, sit up tall, and then just gently folding over. Stay here or extend one or both hands. Slowly coming up and sitting up tall. Relax the arms, all right. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our left knee and our right elbow up. Now, just hold that and lower down, switch sides, right elbow, left knee. Release, and we'll go again, left elbow, right knee. Come back up one more time, right elbow, left knee. Hold on to the chair and come back. All right, we're gonna sit with our legs wide. We're gonna bring our legs out nice and wide. Sitting up tall and then bring your arms up. We wanna make sure we have a solid foundation here. So make sure you're seated in your chair properly and your legs don't have to be that far apart, but make sure that your feet are flat. We don't wanna be any tippy toes or Anything else, we wanna make sure we have a solid foundation. And then come up, bend your elbows, sit up tall, spread your fingers. These are called starfish hands in yoga, so starfish hands. Sit up nice and tall. So what we're doing here, opening the chest, the back, and then the inner thigh. Sitting up tall, spread your hands, that feels good too. We're gonna hold this for 10 breaths, here we go. All right, coming on the edge of the chair again, our legs stay wide, um, our toes are pointing out slightly and our feet are flat. Place the palms on the knees. Now dip down with your right shoulder and then look over your left shoulder. 
We're opening the front of the shoulders, stretching the inner thigh, and this is also a nice gentle stretch for the lower back. Come back to your center. Dip down with your left shoulder, looking over your right. You're gonna feel this really opening the front of that shoulder. Come back to center and we'll go again. Dip down with that right shoulder, looking over the left. Back to center, last time. Left shoulder dips down, look over the right. Back to center and roll up. All right, we're gonna take that right forearm, place it on the thigh, kind of resting here, and then reach up with your left arm. This might be your posture today, that's okay. If you wanna stay here, just hold. Or even if you can only go a little ways up, you wanna feel it on the side. So if you're able and you wanna give this a try, reach over the head, all right? Feel that side stretch coming all the way up. Oh, that's a nice stretch. Nice side stretch. Now, here's a variation. You wanna still feel that side stretch, reach to the side like this. If your arm doesn't go over the head, kind of reach in front of you. It's kind of the same variation, just being real mindful of the back and then how far you stretch. You don't have to stretch as far as I do. Just do what you can with what you have and come back to center. Okay, we're gonna lean that left forearm on the thigh and then we're gonna reach to the side or reach up, whichever one works for you. And then maybe just reaching up is enough. If you can lean, go ahead over the, over the ear or in front of you. Either way, you'll feel a stretch. Reaching, stretching and breathing. We don't ever wanna forget about our breath. All right, come back to our center. We're gonna do that again. So resting that right forearm on the thigh, reach up, stay here, reach over or reach up and over. Breathe, don't ever clench your teeth, hold your breath. And come back to center one more time, placing that left forearm on the left thigh and you can reach up, stay here, reach over or reach in front. Come back to center. All right, you guys are doing a great job. Hang in there. We just have a few more to go. All right, this is the one posture we, have, posture we are gonna get up for. So if you're able to stand up, I'm gonna put my uh, chair this way so you can see what I'm doing. And this is called downward dog. Now, I'd like you to place your palms on the seat of the chair and then take a step back and see if you can't round your back. Just holding this, you can probably feel it in your calves, your hamstrings, your back, your shoulders. What I'd like you to do is if you can get into this position, excuse me, bring your chin into your chest. Really pull back here, like you're trying to look at your belly button, even though I know you can't. We're gonna try to get that sensation of trying to look at your belly button. How's that? And just breathe. I'm gonna hold this for a while. We're supplying fresh oxygen to the brain. This helps with sinuses. If you have a cold or if you have to suffer with sinuses, bringing that head down like this really helps. Helps get things flowing and draining. If you have brain fog. All right. Put a little bend in your knees and then kind of walk your feet forward. All right, good job. All right, a couple more and we're all done here. And this video is going to be on YouTube for a while, so I invite you to come back.
again and again, maybe once or twice a day if you can, if you're able, because each time you do this, you're gonna be like, hey, I wasn't able to do that two days ago and now I can. Patience and persistence, I think that's what gets us through life. <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit of hip stretches. Now these might be difficult for some of you because um, getting your leg up like this is not easy. So I'm gonna give you a couple variations and this is a hip stretch. So we're at the edge of the chair again. And if you are able to cross your right ankle over your left knee, great. We're gonna sit like this. You can feel that stretch in the hip. If that's difficult, extend your legs out a little bit here and then just kind of cross your leg over wherever you can. It might be below the knee today. Next week, it might be a little higher. So just what I want you to do is place your leg or your ankle where you can feel some resistance. I don't want you to feel pain, but you need to feel a little bit of that resistance or that stretch. And then what we're gonna do here now is we're going to just press down with the, we're gonna press up with the, the hand, press up on the knee, and then mentally press down. And you can kind of feel that little bit of resistance there. All right. Here's a hard one. We're gonna push down with that hand, all right? Now, if you're able to just lean forward a little bit, you can feel that, I can feel that, that's tough, okay? Now, if you're able, extend your hand forward. Hurts. <laughs> it's a good stretch is what it is. We don't wanna be, uh, we don't wanna feel pain, we wanna feel stretch. So if you're at any point where you feel like you're holding your breath, clenching your teeth or you have pain, back off. You're doing too much. Listen to your body. Okay. And come up. We're going to place that right foot on the floor. Same thing. We're going to cross that left ankle over wherever you're able. If you need to extend your leg out a little bit or just go down a little bit, maybe even just cross your ankles at the bottom. If that, if you can feel that, do that, hold that. But we just want to kind of push down on that knee, wherever you can hold it. And you are gonna have one side that's tighter than the other. That is just human nature. We always have one side that's a little bit of a, a little bit more ornery than the other side, let's say. So just holding this, pressing down as you push up. So you're pushing up and pressing down at the same time here. Holding that. Now, if you can, lean forward and extend the arm. Even if you're sitting up and you can extend the arm, you can feel that pull, that tug. These are tough, but this tells us that we need to stretch that area. Hips are so tight. We have such a, I don't know anybody that doesn't really have tight hips. Just depends, you know? I mean, even if you do a lot of walking, you still can get the tight hips. So we're just gonna kind of relax into this. And don't worry, it'll come, it'll come. All right, now that is it for today. I would like you to uh, revisit this as often as you can. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think On The Move is a fantastic program. It's such a wonderful opportunity for people to kind of pick and choose what they wanna try. And if you like this, great, come back. Otherwise, find something else. On The Move has so many opportunities for you to try new things. We're going to end today's session with a meditation. So I would like you to find a comfortable spot in your chair. And I'm going to bring this up here because I can't see that good. <laughs> and I want you to just place your feet flat. So we don't ever want to have our legs crossed. It uh, inhibits the flow of the blood flow. And it really helps us to not relax as good as we can because our body's working harder to uh, work around the crossed legs. So feet are flat, palms are flat on the lap, facing down. Make sure you're sitting up tall. Make sure you're comfortable because um, you're not going to be able to relax into the meditation if you're uncomfortable. So I'd like you to just close your eyes, take a deep, deep breath in, and exhale. 
take a few moments to relax yourselves. You guys did a great job today. Thanks for hanging in there. All right, another deep breath in and exhale. As you become fully relaxed, know that your meditation or relaxation can reduce the stress in your life and heal your body. I'd like you to become aware of your body as it breathes. There is no right or wrong way to meditate. Tune into your breath. Allow your breath to slow and deepen. And then bring your awareness to your heart center. The heart center is linked with love. Notice the sensations you feel and send your breath to the center of your chest, inviting any tense or tight muscles to soften and release. Imagine that your heart is opening like a flower, giving and receiving love effortlessly. Be grateful for the gift of love. Too often we under, underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. Kindness is tenderness, kindness is love, but perhaps greater than love, kindness is goodwill. Kindness says, I want you to be happy. What wisdom can you find that is greater than kindness? Kindness is an inner desire that makes us want to do good things, even if we don't get anything in return. It is simply the joy of our life to do them. When we do good things from this inner desire, there is kindness in everything we think, say, want, and do. Wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. Kindness is more important than wisdom, and the recognition of this is the beginning of wisdom. How far you go in life depends on your being tender with the young, compassionate with the aged, sympathetic with the striving, and tolerant of the weak and strong, because someday in life, you will have been all of these. I'd like you to take in a deep breath now and exhale fully. As you feel yourself beginning to relax even more deeply now, allow any passing thoughts to drift away without paying attention to them. Become aware of your breath as you breathe in and out. As you breathe in, imagine that you're becoming filled with the sensation of light and peace. As you breathe out, allow any tension or anxiety to melt away with your exhalation. So breathe in the good, breathe out the bad. As you follow the rhythm of your breath, Feel yourself becoming increasingly relaxed and peaceful. Become aware of your breath as the life force that sustains you, relaxes you, and energizes you. As you ignore any distractions that come into your mind, you will find that it becomes easy to concentrate on your breathing. Now I'd like you to think of a word that has significance for you Example would be peace, harmony, health, gentleness, or love, whatever it is. Repeat your word inwardly with both your in-breath and your out-breath. And you will feel the emotion associated with that word becoming infused into your being. I'm going to be quiet for a moment now so that you can repeat your word to yourself. It is now time to return your full attention to your breathing. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe, breathe out, 
Bring your attention back to your body and to your surroundings. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretch a little bit. And slowly open your eyes as you accustom yourself to your everyday state of awareness. Give yourself some time to enjoy this feeling of calmness and have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.